have you been to RonaMatters.com today? Y'all, I'm so wasted. It's 2013. Um, I don't even know. But I feel like since I didn't make a best of 2012 video, like all the rest of the vlog said, I think I should make a video that's going to lead us into 2013. So these are my top five things. Top five. Oh, I held up ten fingers. Top five things that I expect in 2013. The number five, these are no particular orders because I'm too drunk to give a particular order. I just got home from the party. Everybody's going to play. I was like, girl, that's going to spend a $20 to go to a club. Ugh. I can save it $20 and make $20 on a YouTube video. But, uh, anyway, my number five thing, the, again, these are no particular order, is I need more fabulous gay weddings. The gays slay 2012. We had the Kappa wedding, people know it as the Kappa wedding. But Robert and Nathaniel, they had their red and white wedding. It's laid up there in Kansas or Kentucky or wherever the fuck they're from. And then we had um, Robbie Perry and Pr Paris Prince, who were the first black gay male couple to be featured in the Just Married cu Couple section of Jet Magazine. And they slayed this shit worldwide. Had Glad releasing the statement. I said, yes, God, if you can get Glad behind you, bitch, that's how you know. In the gay world, that's how you know you fucking done it. So, congrats to them. In 2013, I need the Supreme Court to make their decision on Prop 8. They're supposed to be having a decision made by June and the Defense of Marriage Act. So, hopefully, the gays can get that together. Fantasia over there hating on us. Girl, she can't even get her edges together, but she over here hating on my whole life story. Girl, focus on your edges. Focus on what the fuck you doing with Antoine Cook. You done got pregnant by the man, had an abortion. I almost killed yourself. Got pregnant by a team up representative again. Girl, and had his baby. And then went through the whole court situation with his wife. He's sort of here worried about what I'm doing with my life. Fantasia, it's a seat for you, girl. I see it. Ooh, we got your name on it. This is the table you sitting at. That's the table you sent over there, Fantasia. All the way up there, girl. Get out of my business. Um, other things. More houses teaching their first LGBT history class. And in three states approved gay marriage in Maine, Maryland, and Washington State. Not Washington, D.C., the capital, but Washington, the state. The, over there where Seattle, Washington is. And I don't really know anything else in Washington State. But the gays have been slain 2012 and 2013. I need more gay slings. I need us to just continue on this movement. We need marriage equality. We are going to continue to fucking slay. Um, the next thing is Kim Kardashian and Kanye West. <sighs> I need either Kim Kardashian to get like an abortion or I need her to like fall down some stairs by mistake. This is so weird. This was, might be rude or it might be whatever it is. But I do not need Kanye West's career ruined by this whole pregnancy thing. Like, like he is Kanye fucking West. His career, like, people don't want to talk to him or associate with him because, you know, he's he has that going on. Or, but I mean, can you really put a price on love? Or, I don't know. It's just this whole Kimye thing. It's just... You know, like, it, okay, so he always went to fuck Kim Kardashian. Okay, great, you fucked her. Okay, you had a relationship with her. Wow, great, you made all your dreams come true. But now you got her pregnant, I'm just like, mm, mm, I don't really know. I don't know. I need her to fall down some stairs. I need her to do something. Uh, it's rude, it's mean. But if she carries the baby full term, I will hope it's a healthy baby boy who you can teach how to punch the buttons on the little machine like he was doing at the war show. I mean, but I really, it's me. And I'm gonna need Beyonce to get her baby up out the closet. Number three. After it was announced that Kim Kardashian was pregnant, they were like making those little pictures, those little pictures with the words on them. And they were like, uh, it was something about Beyonce was on the phone. She was like, Kim Kardashian pregnant? Oh, go get my baby bump out the closet. <laughs> I don't know what Beyonce's gonna do with this music, but I have a feeling it's gonna be very ghetto. And before Beyonce's put something ghetto out, I don't know, but we've always wanted ghetto from Beyonce. Hold on, I'm drunk. Hey, we always begged her to do more stuff like video phone and single ladies and I want a soldier, but do we really want that? I don't know. She's been giving hints. But when this new album comes out, she's got the Super Bowl performance. She's got um, her HBO documentary. Blue Ivy's birthday is coming up January the 7th. Beyonce's gonna give it to us. 
uh, I don't know if I'm ready for what she's finna give, but of course you can you can never appropriately prepare for what the queen is about to ration out to the girls. But hopefully Beyonce gives me some good rations. I don't want the government cheese. I want their premium craft kind, 24 slices. I need something good, Beyonce. Give it to me, put a little ranch on it. I mean, cause you know, you gotta get the white people in it. So they don't be the ranch. But give me something I can feel. Okay, the next thing, oh, other music happenings. I'm ready for Tamar to slay in 2013, February the 12th, 2013. Tamar's coming on her album, Love and War. Kaya's been singing recently, bitch. Kaya has been singing for the girls. She's been giving y'all, hmm. She's been serving us tomatoes. She hasn't been giving us Whitney. She's been giving us more JoJo first album. She's been giving us... You know, Sierra when she first came out. <laughs> but Kaya is singing and the girls cannot take. When Kaya released Santa Baby, I was like, Santa Baby, girl, are you coming to Christmas classics? Girl, yes, God, put her in them one of them late night commercials for the um, mix CDs. You know, give me that, girl. Yes, God. R&B soul. Um, someone else. I need Frank Ocean to have a seat. I need him to find the Red Sea that C. Moses parted. I need him to find some sort of sea and be like, Bitch, I'm here. What? I'm finna sit in this water and never get the fuck up. Because y'all got him nominated for Grammys. And I'm like, Frank, really? Your mixtapes are better than that album. So, no. I think you're very talented, Frank. But I'm just not feeling it. Someone else in the other entertainment news. I need K. Michelle to fucking come out and slay. Um, she's working on recording her album right now. But when the next season of Love and Hip Hop comes out, which I think is gonna premiere like late March, early April, she's, I'm sure they're on the show that, and it's going to be on the show. And then she's going to release her album. I need Tamar to slay. I need Tamar, K. Michelle, did I say Tamar? I mean K. Michelle. I need K. Michelle to slay, and I need Tamar to slay, and I need Kaya to come out with a singing album. Because Dick Matthias from the Motor Mouth, a.k.a. Kaya Shimon album, slay. Y'all weren't ready for that. Y'all were not ready for that. And also, in 2013, I need a black popular song like... Here's my number. So call me, maybe. Okay, that was cute. And then you have to, oh, 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 can't go style. Mm -hmm. Y'all had that, but I need it to be something I can relate to. Because, I mean, call me, maybe, and game style were really cute and stuff. Really cute and stuff. But I need it to be Travis Porter, you know, something I can relate to. I need that to be. <sighs> this is my number four thing. But the number five, and these are in no particular order again. Get money. Number five, number five, the, well, this number one, actually, priority in 2013 is get money. Let's stop shooting up these schools. Let's stop fighting with our baby daddies. Well, this could affect your child support check. But, you know, if it's not about money, let's stop fighting. About, like, this bitch said this about me on Facebook. I'm a real ass bitch. Uh uh. I can't let this bitch read me on Facebook. Girl, it's Facebook. It's the motherfucking internet. Oh my God. You're, you're, Lights still gotta be paid. If you don't pay your, your cable bill, she's gonna be able to see um Real Housewives of Atlanta. This folks about some real shit. If it's not about money in 2013, fuck it. Mm -hmm. She said that that was cute. Like it, you know. Leave a little comment and go on about your life. There's nothing more important than getting money in 2013. Shit, we the fiscal cliff fucking us up. Um, the tax rate that they implemented in 2000. What was two years ago? 2011. That's over. Texas going from 4.2% back to the regular rate. Let's focus on getting money. Bitch, you need to ask your boss, can you work an hour overtime to make up for the tax shit that's going on? Let's focus on getting money. Bitch, you're saying shit about me on Facebook. Wow, okay, you said it. And if some bitch called my phone and asked me about it, that bitch can put on the block list. Some bitch um, posted some picture of me that one cute on Instagram. Block that bitch. Like the picture first. Leave a comment and then block that bitch as well. It's all this shit about the internet and oh my mama don't like me. Oh I'm having trouble at home with my boyfriend. Oh girl, I don't even want to go into too much detail. But if it's not about getting money, fuck it. In 2013, fuck all this shit. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Yeah. So I had to say that because that was on my mind. Um, but yeah, reflecting back on 2012, I had my first speaking event. 
I was nominated for um, Best LGBT Blog with the 2012 Black Web Blog Awards. And in my um, hometown, they nominated me, but they um, they gave me an award for um, LGBT Media Excellence. So I had a lot of professional accomplishments in 2013. I didn't really, well, 2012, I didn't really know that I really had did three major things that were really important for me in 2012. So in 2013, hopefully I can do more great things. I thank you everybody for your support. Thank you for checking out RollingMatters.com, following me on Twitter, my Instagram, and shit, all those social networks, everything. Rolling Matters, put it in. I'm there. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you thumbs up this video. And this is bye-bye. 2013, what are your goals? Comment below. Let me know what are your goals for 2013. Deuces.